Hi there, I'm just at Belmore Estate where um, you can have a lovely Creole meal here. It's a Sunday and uh, years ago, when I say years ago, four years ago when we were doing some training, we, we um, you know, some tour guide training, uh, we used to come here and bring all the guests from the cruise ship in here. So if you want to have a lovely Creole meal, this is the place to come to and, uh, and I'll take you around. Some of the lovely sceneries here. I'm just going to an area where they normally have some lovely flowers and things. Um, it's very ancient, um, you know, um, colonial building. So anyway, I'm just going through. Sugar Mill Garden. Yeah, look at that. The design is beautiful. I think they do a lot of weddings here, by the way, as well. And here's some of the um, nice flowers and things. Here again. This place, I've been told, is 400 years old. Can you imagine? This looks like you can um, have a, a wedding um, couple in here, can you? You know, Grenada has won 15 times um, at the flower show in the Chelsea flower show in UK, and they won the, and they won the gold medal. When you see all the flowers, I'm not surprised at the beauty of it. I'm going to try this swing. Do you think I can manage? Hang on. I'm on the swing. Ooh. <laughs> I wonder if I can. Ooh. Oh my god. I have to be careful. That's lovely. I haven't been on the swing for years since I was a child. <laughs> oh god, this is lovely. It's a busy day today, so just to show you uh, what it looks like before. Uh, I'm having my starter today, it is, which is Kalaloo soup. Um, Kalaloo is, um, is leaves, you know, uh, grown onto the ground. Um, it's a bit like spinach, you know, uh, all done into a soup. So anyway, it's Kalaloo soup. I'm going for my Creole meal now, and um, I'm just going to show you around briefly uh, what we're going to have. This, this is salads here. And this is jaloup rice, um, it's uh, an African um, rice, normally they have rice and peas in Grenada, but we're going to try this today. Creole meal, I've got a bit of everything on here, you know, as you can see, salads, fish, you know, um, beef and all in here, I'm going to enjoy my meal now. I've got an old friend here, I'm so surprised at Bermo Estate. And uh, his name is Rooster. He's, we, we were doing some training on the tour guiding and he's, his training is amazing. Rooster, do you want to say something to us? Yes, of course. Um, very good to meet you today at Belmont Estate. And well, I'm on tour now, as I told you, I'm on tour with some Italians and French together in the same bus. So today, the two languages for me, it's a good um, head exercise. It's a joy. You know, you never feel the tiredness while you're doing it. But later on, of course, when I'm finished, I would feel the tiredness coming in, you know? Oh. So it's a joy to be here. Belmont Estate is what we can call the number one restaurant in Grenada, both in a local and international context. You know, where you sit at the restaurant and not looking out on other buildings, you know? Not looking out on a concrete jungle, but on pure vegetation. Oh. Where the parrot says, happy birthday to you. <laughs> and ask you, do you want a cracker? Oh, Rooster, so it's a funny. wonderful place to be. Yeah, thank you so much, so okay. much. Nice meeting you, thank you so much. Uh, you cannot come to Belmont Estate and don't do chocolates. They do some lovely chocolates here, all the different flavors. You know, in a minute I'm gonna to talk to one of the girls. She'd probably, you know, tell us a little bit more about it. There's some lovely gifts here as well. Four different type of chocolates all here together. There's a different type of chocolates here. There's the dark sea salt, the dark, dark milk and pure Grenada. 
So this one is really nice, the pure Grenada. It's got nutmeg, cinnamon, ginger, and mace. I'm gonna have a taste as well. You can tell us how long it takes from the process of, you know, from start to finish. So it's gonna tell us a little bit about it. So after the nibs have been roasted and winnowed, you get the cocoa nibs. After the nibs have been winnowed and cleaned from shells, they then wrap over to the grinder. To the chocolate grinders and they're grounded for 72 hours, day and night. So after 72 hours, they then emptied and loaded in 5 kg containers. The 5 kg containers are then left out to cure, harden, solidify, and then they're wrapped and then they're sent over to the aging room where they sit for three months. We age because we tend to help release the, some of the acidities from the cocoa, from the chocolate, so it's been more relaxed on the palate. After aging for three months, is brought back to the chocolate factory, broken up by hand, and then loaded into the chocolate cell. Mill. The chocolate cell mill now is responsible for tempering. That's where it gets the right temperature, your chocolate gets the shine, the snap. After tempering, they're then molded, sent to the cooling room, chocolate is then set, and then demold on our hand wrap. After hand wrap, they're back to the aging room. Ready to sit for a month, two to four.